The moon is Earth's only natural satellite. Its diameter is about one quarter the diameter of the Earth. The moon is the fifth largest satellite in the solar system. It's larger than any of the non dwarf planets and its largest satellites relative to its parent planet. The moon is a planetary mass object that forms a differentiated rocky body, making it a satellite planet under the geophysical definitions of the term. It lacks any significant atmosphere, hydrosphere, or magnetic field. Its surface gravity is about one sixth of Earth.
orbiting Earth at an average distance of 384,400 km. That's why 238,900 miles or about 30 times Earth's diameter. Its gravitational influence very slowly lengthens Earth's day and is the main driver of Earth's tides. The moon's orbit around the Earth has a sidereal period of 27.3 days. During each syntonic period of 29.5 days, the amount of visible surface illuminated by the sun varies from none up to 100 percentage, resulting in lunar phases that form the basis for the months of a lunar calendar. The moon is tidally locked to earth, which means that the length of a full rotation of the moon on its own axis causes its same side. To always face her, then the somewhat longer lunar day is the same as the synodic period. However, 59% of the total lunar surface can be seen from Earth through shifts in perspective due to liberation.
द मोस्ट वाइडली एक्सपेक्टेड ऑरिजिन एक्सप्लेनेशन पोजिशन दैट द मून फॉर्मड फोर पॉइंट फाइव वन बिलियन ईयर्स है गो नॉट लॉन्ग आफ्टर अर्थ आउट ऑफ द डेबरीज फ्रॉम ए गेंट इम्पैक्ट बिटवीन द प्लान एंड द हाइपोथिसिस्ट मास साइस्ट बॉडी कॉल दिया इट देन रिसेंडेड टू द वाइडर ऑर्बिट बिकॉज ऑफ टेडल इंट्रैक्शन विद अर्थ द नियर साइड ऑफ द मोन इज मार्क बाई डार्क वॉल्कैनिक मैरिया विच फील द स्पेस बिटवीन द ब्राइट एंशेंट कल्चरल हाईलैंड एंड प्रोमिनेंट इम्पैक्ट क्रैचेस मोस्ट ऑफ द लार्ज इम्पैक्ट बेसिस एंड द मैर सर्फेसिस वर इन प्लेस बाय द एंड ऑफ द इम्प्रेन पीरियड सम थ्री बिलियन इयर्स एगो द लूना सर्फेस इज लाइटिवली नॉन रिफ्लेक्टिव विद द रिफ्लेक्टेंट जस्ट स्लाइटली ब्राइटर दैन दैट ऑफ वन एसपलट However, because it has a large angular diameter, the full moon is the brightest celestial object in the night sky. The moon apparent size is nearly the same as that of the sun, allowing it to cover the sun almost completely during a total solar eclipse. the moon's prominence in earth sky and its regular cycle of phases have provided cultural references and influences of our human societies throughout history such influences can be found in language calendar system art mythology the first artificial object to reach the moon was the soviet union's luna 2 uncrewed spacecraft in 1959 This was followed by the first successful soft landing by Luna 9 in 1966. The only human lunar missions to have date have been those of the United States Apollo program, which landed 12 men on the surface between 1969 and uh, 1972. These and the later uncrewed missions returned lunar rocks that have been used to develop a detailed geological understanding of the moon's origins internal structure and the subsequent history
isotope dating of lunar samples suggests the moon formed around 50 million years after the origin of the solar system historically several formation mechanisms have been proposed but none satisfactorily explains the features of the earth moon system a fission of the moon from earth crust through centrifugal force would require too great an initial rotation rate on earth gravitational capture of a preformed moon depends upon a unfeasibly extended atmosphere of earth to dissipate the energy of the passing moon a confirmation of earth and the moon together in the primordial accretion disk does not explain the depletion of metals in the moon none of these hypotheses can account for the high angular momentum of the earth moon system The prevailing theory is that the earth moon system formed after a giant impact of a mass sized body with the proto earth giant impacts are though to have been common in the early solar system computer simulations of giant impacts have produced results that are consistent with the mass of the lunar core and the angular momentum of the earth moon system these simulations show that most of the moon derived from the impactor rather than the proto earth however more recent simulation suggest a larger fraction of the moon derived from the proto earth other bodies of the inner solar system such as mars and vesta have according to meteoroids from them very different oxygen and tungsten isotope compositions compared to earth however earth and the moon have nearly identical isotopic compositions The isotopic accumulation of the earth moon system might be explained by the post impact mixing of the vaporized material that formed the two although this is debated
would have released enough energy to liquefy both the ejecta and the earth's crust forming a magma ocean the liquefied ejecta could have then reaccreted into earth moon system similarly the new formed moon would have its own lunar magma ocean its depth is estimated from about 500 km that's a 300 miles to 1737 km while the giant impact theory explains many lines of evidence some questions are still unresolved most of which involve the moon's composition above a high resolution threshold of simulation study published in 2022 finds that giant impacts can immediately place a satellite with similar mass and ion content to the moon into orbit far outside earth's roche limit even a satellite that initially passed within a roche limit can reliably and predictably survive by being partially stripped and then trucked onto wider stable orbit
After the moon's formation, the moon settled in orbit around Earth much closer than today, making both bodies appear much larger in each sky and causing on both a more frequent and stronger eclipse and tidal effects. Since then, due to tidal acceleration, the moon's orbit around Earth has become significantly larger as well as longer, tidally locking the so-called lunar near side, always facing Earth with the same side. The post-formation cooled lunar surface has been shaped by large and many small impact events, retaining a broadly created landscape of all ages as well as by volcanic activity producing the prominent lunar mass, volcanically active until 1.2 billion years ago. Most of the moon's mare vessels erupted during the Imperian period 3.3 to 3.7 billion years ago though some being as young as 1.2 billion years and some as old as 4.2 billion years. The causes for the eruption of Mars vessels, particularly their uneven occurrence on mainly the near side like the lunar highlands on the far side has been an unsolved issue due to differing explanations. One explanation suggests that large Metrodities were hitting the moons in its early history, leaving large creatures which then were filled with lava.
eleven was the American space flight that first landed human on the moon. Commander Neil Armstrong and lunar model pilot Buzz Aldrin landed the Apollo lunar model Eagle on July 20, 1969 at 20.70 UTC and Armstrong became the first person to step on the Mars surface 6 hours and 39 minutes later on July 21 at 02.56 UTC. Aldrin joined in 19 minutes later and they spent about two and a quarter hours together exploring the site they had named Tranquility Base upon landing. Armstrong and Alton collected 47.5 pounds, uh, that's why 21.5 kilograms of lunar material to bring back to Earth as a pilot. Michael Collins flew the command module Columbia in lunar orbit and were on Mount's surface for 21 hours 36 minutes before lifting off to region Columbia. Thank <laughs> you.